Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing what is a magnetostriction effect and then we will discuss what is a magnetostriction oscillator. So the first requirement is a ferromagnetic rod. So let's say we have a ferromagnetic rod of a suitable length. The second requirement you have to apply an external magnetic field of induction B bar. But the condition is the length of the rod must be parallel to the direction of V bar. Under these conditions, the rod will start vibrating. Let's say the rod is vibrating along X axis. As a result, the surrounding air will also start vibrating with a frequency equal to the frequency of vibration of the rod. If this frequency exceeds a value of 20 kilohertz, then we can say that the surrounding air molecules are vibrating with ultrasonic frequency. Okay? As a result, the ultrasonic waves are generated in the surrounding region. This effect is known as a magnetostriction effect. So what is a magnetostriction effect? Whenever a ferromagnetic rod is subjected to the action of an external magnetic field such that the length of the rod is parallel to the direction of B bar then the rod will start vibrating along X axis. If the frequency of vibration exceeds the value of 20 kilohertz, the surrounding air molecules will also vibrate with the same frequency and as a result, the ultrasonic waves are generated in the surrounding region. This effect is known as a magnetostriction effect. Now let us discuss how the magnetostriction oscillator works. Now before we start with the explanation of magnetostriction oscillator. Let us learn the basic block diagram of any oscillator. So, in the basic block diagram of any oscillator, you all can see that there are three blocks. Okay. The first block is a tank circuit. As we all know that the tank circuit is the parallel combination of inductor and the capacitor. So, the tank circuit is the one who will produce an AC wave. The output of this tank circuit is given to the base of transistor. Of course, we are going to use NPN transistor. Now, this transistor will act like an amplifier. So, the output of tank circuit is amplified by the amplifier circuit. The output of amplifier, the output of amplifier is taken by a feedback circuit. And the feedback circuit will transfer some part of its output back to the input of a tank circuit. So what is the role played by a feedback circuit? It will feed some part of output of transistor amplifier back to the input of a tank circuit. Now let's see how these three blocks are implemented in the magnetostriction oscillator. Okay. So, the first requirement is a ferromagnetic rod of suitable length. Let's say the length of the rod is capital L. The second thing, the rod can vibrate along X as well as Y axis. But we have to avoid the vertical vibration of the rod. Hence, we will clamp the rod at the center. Now this clamping will avoid the vertical vibration of the rod. So now the rod is restricted to vibrate only along X axis. Second thing, I require a coil and this coil is wound exactly at the center of the rod. And then this coil is connected to the DC source. Now what is the function of this coil? Let us call this coil as L1. So what is the function of the coil L1? Initially, the rod was completely demagnetized. Now, I will switch on this DC supply. As a result, the DC current will flow through the coil. And according to the magnetic effect of electric current, this current carrying coil will produce a constant value magnetic field in the surrounding region. Now, this rod is subjected in the same field. So, the rod will achieve a constant value of magnetization. Okay, so this rod is magnetized to some constant value. Later on, we can switch off this DC supply. So now, we have a permanently magnetized ferromagnetic rod. Then, you require one more coil. Okay, now this coil is wound at the right end 
of the rod. Okay. Now let us call this coil. Let us call this coil as L2. Now this coil is connected in parallel with a variable capacitor of value C. Now this coil L2 and capacitor will form a tank circuit. And the frequency of this tank circuit is calculated by using a form F is equal to 1 upon 2 pi into square root of L2 multiplied by C. By adjusting the value of C, you can adjust the value of the frequency of the tank circuit. Okay. Here, a switch is provided. Then, you require a high tension battery. Okay, so this is HT, that is high tension battery. This is a switch S. Now, if you press the switch, okay, the current will enter in the capacitor. So, capacitor gets charged. Okay, so due to the charging of capacitor, you will get this kind of a charging curve. After a certain instant of time, the capacitor will get fully charged. Now, the discharging of the capacitor will start. So, how the capacitor will get discharged? The current will now start flowing through the coil L2. Okay, now this decay will not be the sudden, the decay will be like this. Okay, so as a result, the current flowing through L2 will be an AC current. Okay, so this AC current will also produce a variable magnetic field in the surrounding region. And the rod is placed in the same surrounding region. So now the rod will start vibrating. With what frequency? With frequency given by this form. If the frequency of the tank circuit matches with the natural frequency of the rod, the resonance will take place. Okay? Now, see the other end of the rod. At the other end of the rod, you require one more coil. Okay? Let us call this coil as L3. Okay? Here, the electromagnetic induction is observed. Okay, the coil is at rest, the rod is vibrating. Okay, so induced EMF will generate over here, induced current will flow and that induced current is given to the base of a transistor. Of course, we require NPN transistor. Okay, and the output of a transistor is given back to the tank circuit. Okay, of course, the emitter is grounded. Okay, so that the excess current will not harm this transistor. So this transistor is acting like the feedback circuit. Sorry, this transistor is the transistor amplifier. Okay, and this coil is acting like the feedback circuit. Okay, so this is how the magnetostriction oscillator will work. Thank you.